Hi, it's Rabbi Lewis wishing you an early Shabbat Shalom. And would you believe it? It's almost uh, an early Chag Sameach as well. Uh, we've just come through uh, the Jewish New Year and Yom Kippur. And uh, we'd think we'd be done with holidays, but no, guess what? It's almost Sukkot, which means that Simchat Torah is also just around the corner. So lots of Chagim, lots of days to celebrate. And they all come, boop, 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 boom, bang, right in a row. And uh, there's a good reason that the month after Tishrei is called Mar Cheshvan, Bitter Cheshvan by the rabbis, because it is a month that lacks holidays. And uh, by the way, ask a, a modern day rabbi if they're bitter about a month with no Jewish holidays. And the answer is going to be a resounding no. We're not bitter about that at all. It gives us time to prep for uh, Hanukkah and Kislev. Anyhow, so I want to talk a little bit about uh, the way these holidays uh, come at us. It's a coat in the Talmud is called Hechag, the holiday by the rabbis. And that really means that it's the central festival, the central pilgrimage holiday of the year. And uh, it gets, uh, I think in current days, especially where we live, sort of short shrift. It's, it's not really uh, paid as much attention to as, as it uh, deserves or, or could be um, celebrated. So I think that uh, we have to consider, well, why do we not pay as much attention to Sukkot? Uh, one is, is we've just come out of the big holiday season, uh, and then five days later, you're supposed to then go out into your backyard after a day of fasting and immediately build something. And uh, that doesn't sound uh, too enticing to say, well, I'm exhausted, and now I get to go build a uh, do-it-yourself project in my backyard. I know that's how I felt. It took me a couple days to get out there and build my sukkah, and, uh, and a lot of people don't. Um, but I think there's a logic to it, and it's not explicitly stated in the Torah, but if we look at the way these things are set up, that uh, Sukkot could be a transitional period coming out of the Day of Judgment and atonement and exhaustion from this uh, self-imposed harrowing experience of fasting and self-denial to bringing ourselves back to life that you don't just bounce right back after a difficult experience. You know, a person who has been hospitalized or very sick for some reason, uh, it takes a period of time before they feel 100% themselves. Like if somebody's had a serious injury uh, in between the hospital and home, a lot of times there's a stay and a rehabilitation facility until they have the strength to go back to their normal lives. Uh, you know, there's a recent uh, situation with uh, hostages being freed from Iran, they don't immediately just go back home, right back to their normal lives, that there has to be a transition period as they reacclimate themselves to uh, what would then be considered normalcy. And I think that with this uh, intense period of 10 days, Rosh Hashanah through Yom Kippur, that exhaustion means that we need some sort of transition. And in that transition, instead of just going right back into our homes completely, we go outside, we recognize that we're not completely healed, that there's still a shakiness, uh, perhaps in our own lives and in the world around us, and that is symbolized through the shakiness of a temporary hut of the sukkah. And then after the period of time when Sukkot is over, then we return to the quote-unquote normalcy of the year, the Mar Cheshvan, the, the period of time in which we don't have to consider the heaviness of life and the heaviness of what it means to uh, go through that cheshbon hanefesh, the purification of our souls and uh, the fragility of, of life and the nature around us, then that's when the break comes. So I think Sukkot really can be a, a transitional period taken very seriously if we, if we allow it to. And uh, we take time to have gratitude for having come out of this difficult time and going into uh, the more regular. So at any rate, those are my thoughts today on Shabbat and the holiday of Sukkot. I wish everyone Chag Sameach, happy Sukkot, and have a wonderful Shabbat. Hope to see some of you for sushi and the sukkah tonight at mitzvah. Talk to you soon.